Hello, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. Today we are doing Pick a Wolf because it's February. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. And it's going to be about creativity. So it, you're going to be picking a wolf and seeing how you can help your creativity, what is going to help your creativity and how to get that um, to get some creativity happening and how to ensure the, the proper uh, delivery of your creativity. So we have four wolves from four decks. We have the King of Stones wolf from the Wildwood Tarot, which is basically the King of Pentacles. We have the beautiful moon uh, card from the, uh, from the Unified Consciousness Tarot. We have the Beta of Spirit wolf from the White Light Oracle. And we have the Wolf and Rose Hip Guardianship card from the Woodland Wardens Oracle. So, feel into the cards. One of these or more will have a reading for you about uh, your creativity and how it can be helped and how it can be helped to to bring through what you need to bring through. I will put the timestamps in the description and I will see you at the reading. Bye! Hello to all of you who chose the King of Stones Wolf. So I'm going to move him over here. Um, so he's basically like the King of Pentacles. He's very much about being on top of, you know, taking care of pr practical things making sure that everybody has what they need to live. Oh, and the thing that I didn't mention even in the opening, although it's going to be in the picture, in the main picture, so it's not really an issue because you will know before you click this because we're doing the alpha beta runes today because I figured since it's February and since we're dealing with wolves, the Roman alphabet would be a very fitting choice to use. So let's get started uh, with a reading from them. I have to not be like rushing ahead on this because <laughs> I don't use these very often. <laughs> And I have to make sure that I'm doing this right. So it's all good. I'm actually going to do, I'm going to lay down the entire reading first, and then we're, to get, we're going to go from there. But it's exciting because I hadn't, you know, one of my friends reminded me about this the other day. And it's like, oh yeah, I haven't used this in a while. I haven't used this since the first time that I used this on the videos. I've used them, but not like in video. So, um, central issue for as far as this goes for your creativity and uh, making your creativity particularly good let me move this over a little bit uh, making it good and also helping you to bring things through we have right now we have i i almost said isa because i am a <laughs> normally reading the elder faith arc but we do have i which is which is the closed hand so i think your focus very much has been on, you know, taking care of what needs to be taken care of, and you are looking to get your creativity jump started. However, you're still in a situation where you're 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 not really receiving things. You're not really you're almost reluctant to be receiving things. You're almost reluctant to accept, and there may even be an element of combativeness where you are resisting. Um, taking anything in to, to, to go towards this because maybe you feel, feel you have felt that it's been a hard winter and you need to defend yourself on things and make sure that you have your, there may be a certain survival mode going on with this. Um, leading up to this, yeah, you've been, this is a J, it's the arm, it's reversed. So inwardly you feel like you have had to use your inner work arms <laughs> To, to you know basically to, to do certain things they've been they've what you want to use them for the work you want to use them for has sort of been hijacked by just taking care of survival um, so here you are now you really want to open up but you're having trouble opening up to to the creativity that you want what is going to help you keep your eyes open we have oh which is I so just observe let your eye do the taking in. It's it's less um, intrusive than letting the hand take in at this point. So basically just start keeping your eyes open. Just start seeing what you're seeing. Let that be the beginning of that, where things are going to start to, to, to come in and, uh, and you know, basically letting things come in. What isn't going to help you is we have W, which I made a little bit wider, like at the... I, I, I w waved it out so that it would, so that it looks different from M. So it's it's a W. So it's basically W is the the mace or the the club or the bludgeon, basically, and it's 
it's it's reversed on the lower line. So it's basically saying, don't beat yourself up inwardly. Like, don't be beating yourself up for the th about what you're not able to take in at the moment. You are taking things in. It's like you, this is the start. You have to start by observing. So observe. Let your mind. Let your let yourself let your eye see, and this would be there's no reversal on this, so it's both inner and outer. Let your eye see what it sees, um, and this will hopefully bring you to the point. Well, it will definitely bring you to the point where you'll be able to let that hand open a little. I don't see K here, which is the open hand, but I do see P, which is the mouth, and that's exciting. We're going there next. Um, so yeah, if you're feeling still very closed off because you've been spending so much time in survival mode, bring yourself back up to where you were just like observing and letting things come in that way and that's going to help you the most getting past this stage. Your next stage in this is P, which is the mouth. So it's it's communication, it's manifestation, it's expression, and that's where it's going to start to come. It's going to start to come out that way. So you're you're bring you're taking things in at this stage with with keeping your eye open and then very very soon after that like your next step is going to be you're going to be able to express you're going to be able to communicate this you're going to be able to start creating in this way like creating as an expression as a manifestation what isn't what what is definitely going to help you is we have um v which is a peg and it's also a vessel it's so oh no it's not oh my gosh i almost said you so you is you is the peg in the vessel the v <laughs> see this is, this is why i have to do this more um v is a, is the uh, spear and um when i was studying these it basically came out like spear is like an oath you take an oath on the spear so it's it's an oath that you're taking but it's reversed so that's inner so you're taking an oath with yourself so you basically What's going to help you is sort of make with yourself a promise once you start to express, once you start to communicate these things and start manifesting them, make yourself a promise, like swear an oath to yourself inwardly that you're going to be doing this. This is something that you wanted. This is something that you are committing to. And so you definitely want to be doing this. Make yourself like if you have to make it a promise with yourself that you're going to do this, do it because it's going to help you feel a lot better. <laughs> about things and it's also going to allow more things allow yourself to express more that maybe you would have held back otherwise um what isn't going to help is you basically doubting your head we have we have uh, uh i almost said right though we have r which is the head it's reversed and it's on the lower line. So first of all, it's sort of like inner to so your mind. It's in, and it's sort of worrying about your mind. And this is why you're making this vow. Um, you, once you start to express, you're going to start hitting things that you're like, I don't know if I want to express this. Nobody's going to, nobody has to read your first draft. Okay. No matter what it is, whether it is painting or writing or music or whatever you're creating, nobody has to see what you make while you're making it and while you before you edit it before you make it good so so just this is the steer, this is the stage at which you're just letting it flood out just let it happen like let it come um and if you have to swear an oath with yourself that you're going to just let this happen please do that because if you are letting yourself i mean just to bring in to bring in the <laughs> the Elder Futhark briefly on this. Um, the, the Elder Futhark version of this is, of course, Raido, which is the journey rune. The, the reversal of that is in the lower line is going to be uh, don't stop before you start, basically. So coming back to the <laughs> alpha beta, um, yeah, don't mistrust your head. Your head is, it needs to let these things out. Your mind is going to be letting these things out. This is how you're going to be creating. So if you have to make an oath with yourself to let this happen, please do that because that is going to help you express. That is going to help you bring through what you need to bring through. And ultimately what this is going to lead you to is it's going to give you a hook. Um, the F is the hook. So it's, it's going to be a means I guess C is similar to that. Like it's a means of getting what you need, but it's a way to bring the something to you. And you're, you're going to be able to, you're going to find that this is going to help you. I mean, at the very least, once you're expressing and once you're communicating, like once you're getting this out, it clears the clutter and you will be better able to uncluteredly uh, bring to you what you need to bring to you. But definitely 
all of this is going to help um, help you clear your hook so you can bring things in that are going to help you express more. And that is your pick a wolf reading about your creativity. I wish you all the best with this, and I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye. Hello to all of you who chose the beautiful moon card from the Unifying Consciousness Tarot. So I am going to move this over here, because it's a wolf. I'm going to move this very beautiful wolf over here, and I am going to start putting down the readings. So we're using the Alpha Beta runes, which I have in the title of this. Uh, I forgot to mention it in the, <laughs> in the um, opening of this session, which is funny. So there's the U. So I am going to put down the entire reading uh, before I start. Hmm, nice. Yes. And then we're going to go from there. Oh, that's a kind of a nice one to end. So yes, I am using the Alpha Beta runes. I figured with, with the wolves and creativity and February, um, the Roman alphabet would be perfect uh, to use for this, but I haven't used it in a while, so I'm sort of like still a little bit but I'm glad I'm using it, and I want to be using it more, so I'm sorry I haven't used it uh, often. Your central issue for your question about creativity and how to connect with it and how to rekindle it and how to bring things through to completion, your central issue here is Q, and Q is things are a bit tricky. Things are right now a little bit of a twisted tangle. Um, maybe you have a lot of ideas, and maybe you have a lot that you want to bring through and that you want to, and the problem is not so much how do I kindle this, but how do I bring it through? Um, and how do I bring it through to completion? Because it's tricky. Right now it's a tangle. It's a, like a twisted tangle. It's a it's a, you know, a knot or a monkey. <laughs> Or a, I have a needle, all of that. So it's it's a bit tricky. It's 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 some trickiness. So this is where you are looking to the wolves to help you with that. Leading up to this, we have R, which is the head. So that's why I'm thinking you probably have a lot um, on your mind, a lot in your head, in your in your in your mind that you want to bring through. So much so that it's like hitting all the keys on the typewriter at once. Remember typewriters? <laughs> <laughs> where they would all tangle all of them and then you had to go in and untangle them so you could type again. So <laughs> I'm old. So <laughs> so basically that's where you, what you're dealing with like you have a lot a lot a lot of ideas and some of it has been, you know, accumulating over time and some of it has come to you very organically but it's just very a lot. And you're dealing with this like twisted tangle that you have that you really want to untangle and start using you know start to start to express with it. So what is going to help you? We have C, which is the camel. Um, it is reversed and it's on the upper line. So I'm going to read this as inner. Um, I'm also going to read it as opposite. So, <laughs> so let's let's start. C is the camel. So the camel has to do with nurturing um, something so that you can have more endurance. Um, so I think what we're looking at is you want to really delve down into you know inwardly uh, with your camel, <laughs> your inner camel, and you're going to be going through. Uh, the 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 I'm not going to say wasteland because it's not. It's like a jungle. It's like so much and it's so tangled. And you you want to basically go on that inner track um, without feeling the need to come up for much that is going to um, restore you because you want to basically go in there and just like build that endurance where you're going through it and sorting out the tangle. Um, the other thing that it's it's going to be is don't. Um, the other way I'm going to read the C in this particular case is don't let yourself um, go without what you need in order to do this. So the camel is basically uh, nurturing so that it doesn't have to, it's like nurturing a, a, it so that it doesn't have to come back for suckling, like weaning. It's a weaning thing. So, because the camel will go for a long time without drinking. So this is sort of like, that's sort of what you're going to be doing inwardly, where you're going to be going in and tirelessly sorting out this tangle. But outwardly, you don't want to do that. Outwardly, make sure that you're hydrated. Make sure that you are giving yourself what you need so that you can have the mental energy to go in and try to do this untangling um, inwardly. So inner camel, outer opposite of camel. So <laughs> What is not going to help you is we have you, that's the, t the peg and the vessel. It's reversed. So I'm going to see this as, first of all, um, 
not committing to this is not going to help you. You're never going to sort this out unless you do that committing uh, to it, which is important. Um, so it's reversed on the lower line, so that would be the peg where you're like pinning yourself down, but you're not. So that's what isn't going to help you. You definitely want to commit to this. You want to, if you want to ever get this sorted out creatively, um, you're going to have to make a commitment to it. Um, the other thing that I'm going to read this as is as a vessel. Um, and this, this ties in with the same thing. If you don't commit to it, all of this is going to run away. It's like not like not run away with legs, but run away with like as liquid. So all of this exciting tangle that's in here with all this richness in it, if you don't do the work, it's going to seep away. Like it's just going to not be there anymore. Like the, it's like a dream. You know, you when you wake up, if you don't write that down right away, chances are you're not going to remember it. And so that's sort of what we have here, this wonderful, rich, delicious tangle of exciting things that you've harvested from your brain. If you aren't going in and sorting that out now and in the, in the spirit of time, um, as tirelessly as possible, like trying to get all of it in, into its respective untangledness, then it's it's going to seep away. So that's not going to help you. What is going to help you if you start to feel like that? It's like, no, you know what? I'm going to commit to this. I'm going to go in. I'm going to sort this out. And at the same time, my physical, my, my physical body, I'm going to keep hydrated and make sure that it's being taken care of. Your next step on the path line, we have V, which is the which is the spear, and it's specifically a spear that you're swearing on. So like you're not like cuss words, but like <laughs> you're you're making an oath. So basically, having come through this, it's very exciting, and you're going to say, okay, you know what? I'm going to do this every time. Whenever I have something like this, whenever I have this tangle, I'm going to go in and I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to take care of myself, but I'm also going to take care of sorting this out because it was worth it. And I'm going to basically say, I vow that I'm going to do this going forward. What is going to help you with that is you already have seen the riches that this gives you when you do it. We have X, which is fish and also riches because fish are riches. It's, it's, it's your, it's your rich, it's your wealth. So, so it's definitely good. It's you're, you're seeing this already and this is going to help you make this oath. You're like, you know what, this is great. I don't ever want to go without doing this ever again. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to make an oath that I'm going to do this. What isn't going to help is we have ta um, T, which is the um, mark. So it's like a mark or a signature. You're going to be worried about that. You're basically, because what you're bringing through, you're learning about yourself while you're doing this. And so this may not be what you expected yourself to be. Like when you're looking at this, you may be like, I don't know, you know, this isn't, I kind of thought I wasn't, I, I didn't know that I was also this kind of thing. And so you're sort of worried about what, this is showing for who you are, uh, the, the, the mark that you're making. But if that's, if, you know, that, that's just a worry. If you bring yourself back up, if that starts to happen, bring yourself back up to um, where the X is, <laughs> where it's like, no, I'm already seeing that this is really worthy and of worth and with riches and nourishing riches, which are like the fish. And this is really good. So I'm, I'm definitely willing to commit now to doing this whenever possible. And what this is going to lead you to is uh, we have S, which is teeth, and uh, so it's going to be something that's very toothsome for you. You're going to be very excited to devour this whenever you get this, not in a destroying things way, but in a, like, let's get at this. Let's sink our teeth into this and really enjoy it. Um, I think this is also the, this is also the, the hunter's bow um, a little bit later, so there's, a, there's that aspect where it's something that you can used to get yourself more nourishment as well, but really, I mean, it's teeth anyway, so teeth are getting you that. So that beautiful moon card from the Unifying Consciousness Tarot people is your reading for kindling your creativity and, and bringing your creativity to completion. It's very, very exciting. So I wish you all the best with this, and I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye! Alrighty, I have an addendum because and, a, and an apology um, because I was reading C as the camel. C is not the camel. C G is the camel. C, <laughs> if I find it, C is the hunter's stick. So all those things I was saying about the camel, they still apply. <laughs> but and I think it was reversed as well. So. 
wasn't it? Was it? Well, anyway, it, yeah, because it was your inner camel and your outer not camel. And I still stand by that. You still ought to be taking care of yourself outwardly and also going in to sort out that, that tangle. But um, the other thing that this is, is, as I said, is the hunter stick. You, you cast something out to get something back. Um, and this is going to be inward. So you're definitely going to be in that line. Um, there's going to be a certain amount of sacrifice, which ties in with what I was saying about the camel when I was not remembering that this wasn't the camel. Um, basically, you're going to be giving a bit of sacrifice to really get in there and work on that tangle and make sure that it is um, sorted out because that's going to help you really the most on that. Um, and, and see it perhaps as a quest. You know, when you go in to do this, um, at the same time, make sure that you're taking care of yourself, just like I said before when I thought it was a camel. <laughs> so there we go. There's our correction and apology. Um, we love you dearly, and take care till next time. Bye. Hello to those of you who chose the Beta of Spirit Wolf card from the beautiful White Light Oracle deck. I'm going to move that over here. And we are using the Alpha Beta runes because, I forgot to mention this in the, in the, ent in the opening, um, because what with wolves and February and creativity and all that, I, I thought that the Roman alphabet would be perfect for, for these. So let's get some runes out, some Alpha Beta runes out, get some letters out. <laughs> and, and then we're going to see what we have. I am going to lay down the entire reading. That's W, by the way. I made the W look different from M. I gave it more sweepy arms. <laughs> oh my goodness, I went extra with this. Okay, since we're going extra with this, I'm going to have to <laughs> do that. <laughs> so I just realized looking at this that I'm going to have to go back to my my other reading and make sure that I fix it because <laughs> one of the things that I read really, really eagerly <laughs> was not correct. <laughs> but you know, this is how we learn. Um, I'm going to jump back in and make that afterwards. So that's, that's okay. We just play with that. But this is a camel. I'm seeing the camel. The camel is right there. So let's start. So here's the, here's the D, 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 D. Central issue for you is B, which is the house uh, and the plans for the house. So as far as your creativity goes, you are looking inward at your inner, at your inner house, <laughs> basically, um, you lo and your plans for for that, you, where, where you consider to be your inner sense of home, um, and that's what you're going to base your creativity on. Leading up to this, we have the mouth, which is P. Um, P is the, the mouth, it's, commu it's communication, manifesta manifestation, um, expression. So you've already started expressing yourself in this, but you realize, you know, I've got to get my inner home in order before we get this creativity going on. So what is going to help you is we have W, which is the bludgeon. <laughs> it's the mace or the bludgeon. Um, it is reversed. So you want to go inwardly. <laughs> And this is terrible. It sounds like, oh, you're going to go in and like take a bludgeon to things inwardly, but you don't want to do that, in fact. I'm actually going to lean on not doing that. <laughs> um, don't go in too heavy-handedly on this. Um, this is basically saying what will, what will help is not being brutal. You may be tempted to be brutal about this. Um, I'm, I'm basically seeing, if you look at D, which is... Uh, the door, it's the door of a tent, it's reversed and it's on the lower line. So you're sort of worried about, you're worried about going out in this. So you're sort of like, hmm, I'm just, I'm just wondering if I want to sort this out in my head. I'm still thinking about having misread the camel in the other one. <laughs> I love you. Um, okay, so D, it's the door. It's what's not helping you and it's reversed. I think you're... I think, you, see, because this is the, hmm, this is really interesting. I want some more clarification on this one. I think this is like the biggest card in the set, and I think there's M. And I think because of this, it's going to have like a big message. <laughs> okay, let's start again with what isn't, what, what is going to help you. So 
inner in inner sense of like going in with a mace would be kind of like um yeah, I definitely don't want to read that as an inner inner in this sense. I want to read this as not. So we are going to not be brutal with this. As we are looking inward at our inner home and at our plans for our inner home, this may also have to do with leaving our comfort zone as well, in the same way that Othalo reversed is about leaving your comfort zone. So I think just basically be gentle with yourself and be aware of your emotions and move like water, because this is water. M is water. So... Definitely this is more advising you to be gentle with yourself. It, whether you are looking at your inner home, bringing that with you, or whether you are stepping outside of your comfort zone, definitely be gentle with yourself. What isn't going to help is you're worried about you're worried about not you're you're worried about leaving your home. You're the worried about leaving your your comfort zone um, because there are teeth out there. We have uh, s, which is the which is the teeth. So it's sort of like worried about going out of that because this is the door. It's reversed. And this isn't going to help you if you don't go out of your comfort zone on this to create like to really solidify your inner home. You're not going to get to the like you're not going to have that creative thing that you want. So definitely be gentle. That's like key. Your next step is you're almost like you're almost starting by bringing outside to you. We have F, which is the hook. So you're sending that out and you're bringing it back. You're sort of, that's what you're starting with. And this is where the camel comes in. <laughs> this is definitely the camel. This, this point is the G is the camel. C is not the camel. And I feel terrible, but I'm going to go back and fix that. Um, you definitely want to this is, this is how you're training your endurance, basically. So you are still sort of in your comfort zone. You're planning to go out of your comfort zone. But you're using the hook to send that out and to bring back um, what you need to nourish you as you are moving out into it. And this is also to let you see what's out there as you move out into it. Um, the camel is telling you this is where you're going to start building up your endurance so you can go out for longer periods of time. Um, have yourself out there for longer periods of time where you don't have to, uh, where, where you aren't going to feel like you have to run back. So there's the camel. What isn't going to help you? We have you, which is the, uh, the, the peg and the vessel. So again, this is all speaking to these worries about going out. Like you might want to like dig in your peg. It's like, this is the peg. This is the tent. You're worried about going out. You're worried about stepping outside of your comfort zone. And you're worried about what might spill if you do that. Once again, we're going to sort of focus on give yourself the gentleness that you need. Uh, don't go in bludgeoningly or, or be or be cruel to yourself and just let yourself feel the water, like let yourself be aware of your emotions. Go like water. And which is neat because you've got a camel here where <laughs> you don't need as much, but you're not going to need as much. You're going to be very careful about this. Moving forward from that, we have L, which is the goad, the, the ox goad, and it's also the god. So it's it's basically, you are going to become very guidingly, it's like inner discipline. You're going to become very guidingly for your inner self. Um, you're going to turn this inward and you're going to direct your, you're going to be very mindful. I think mindful is the word we want. Um, what is going to help you with that is basically keep your eye on what is out there, but also um, be appreciative and be have your gratitude happening. We have E, which is the window, but it's also somebody praising, like somebody uh, praising. So, so it's basically gratitude is going to help you and just basically keep your eye on where you, where you want, like get the big picture, keep your eye on things out there, um, but also be grateful and be mindful. Being grateful will help you be mindful. What isn't going to help is you're sort of worried about how you're going to come across. We have the T which is a mark or like a signature kind of thing. Um, so you are worried about how you're going to come across out there, but this is like, you're living this, this is, this is you living that. And to wrap this up, <laughs> um, so basically, yeah, go in with gratitude, go in with mindfulness. Um, you can do this. And ultimately what you're going to be doing is, I mean, this is continuing. This is a continuation of the, of the goad where you are basically 
not mastering, but you're basically keeping yourself uh, tame. Um, we have A, which is the oxen, and it's uh, about you know food source, but also tame, like domestication, and it's reversed, so it's inner. So I'm, I'm seeing this as like you, mindfulness is going to be key to bringing yourself out there and bringing your creativity to light. So that's pretty neat, all of you who chose the beta of Spirit Wolf. <laughs> I wish you all the best with this, and I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye. Hello to all of you who chose the wolf and rose hip for guardianship. Card of the wolf that is the wolf that you picked. Um, I am going to be clarifying this with the, uh, the angle, uh, with, oh my gosh, the alpha beta runes. So let's start with some of these. I'm going to lay out the entire reading. And we're going to go from there. We have, oh, oh. <laughs> See, now the camel's showing up every time. I had a bit of a misunderstanding with the camel involving a hunter's stick. <laughs> That's not going to happen again. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So your central issue as far as creativity goes and rekindling creativity and getting in on that and, and making sure that you can bring things through, um, you are really in an ob observation stage. Right now you are in a situation where you are very much with your eyes wide open, you're looking very much at um, what it is that you want to work with, but you're very much in the observation stage of it. Leading up to this, we have um, T, which is the mark. Um, this is a mark or a signature or just basically you, you feel like it's almost like you've already started on the creating sort of thing. You've, you've sort of made a mark already and now you're sort of standing back and observing. It's almost like as the, the guardianship wolf is saying, it's like, okay, well, here's the mark that I've made. Or at least maybe you were focusing on the mark that I have to make, but you want to be very careful with it and you want to be very guardian-like with it. So here you are in a situation where you are observing. You're getting an idea of the big picture of what you're working with. Um, what is going to help you? In this case, now I get to do all the things about the reversed camel that I did by accident a couple of readings ago. <laughs> But it's going to be a very similar sort of thing. No, it isn't actually, which is neat because it's, um, I'm actually going to give myself some clarity on this just to make sure. Yes. So G is the camel. The camel has to do with uh, weaning and basically building up endurance. But the endurance that you're building up is going to be inner. You're going to be building up some inner endurance on this. Um, at the same time, I am seeing that you want to make sure that outwardly you are keeping yourself hydrated, you're keeping yourself nourished, and all the things that you need to take care of so that you can go inward and build up that endurance while you're doing the, while you're taking care of things and while you're observing uh, what you're observing in order to get back in touch with your creativity. What is going to help that is to commit to that, <clears throat> basically. It's like, I'm going to take care of myself, but I am going to also keep building up my endurance inwardly so that I can go in and really sort out what I'm seeing. What isn't going to help you is we have right. Uh, oh my gosh, I said Rai though because I am a rune reader. Um, but this is not Rai though, this is R. And R is the head, and it's reversed in the lower line. So you're sort of feeling like... There's a bit of worry going inside your own head. Um, there's a bit, of, a bit of worry that you're going to not recognize, perhaps, what you see in there. And that maybe what you're seeing is your true home and that it's, sorry, B is home. And it's, it's going to get very confusing because you're going in and, and you're basically inwardly looking at what you're observing and you're sort of, you're doubting, you're doubting your own mind and you're sort of, you're worried about, you know, it's like what you're seeing, some of it is foundation shaking, and this makes you worry about your foundations um, and that you may lose your mind. You're not going to do that. Um, this is why you're building up your inner resilience and your inner endurance, and you're committing to this because what you see is what is, and if you're going to be guardian to all of that, then you're going to want to basically... Um, build up endurance of it and sort of you're not going to lose your mind and you're not going to lose your foundations of what gives you a sense of home you may be stepping out of your comfort zone in order to do this and in order to accept this but you're going to see what you see and with what you see you're going to create later 
your next step <laughs> is we have N. And this is sort of why you started worrying about this, because N is the cobra or the eel or a snake. It's something slippery and wiggly and, and unique. Um, it's also a little bit scary. Um, it's just a little bit scary. You're going to be like, this is a little bit weird, this thing that I have seen um, as far as what I have to be guardian over that I'm going to be using to kickstart my creativity. This is a thing that I need to address and this is a thing that I need to work with and it's sort of like we've got like a shadow aspect happening with this because it's kind of like really weird but it's also very essential and kind of scary but also fascinating so so this is what we're working with this is what you come out of with your observations and, and looking at this and building up your inner endurance to deal with it it's like okay this is really interesting let's work with this there is going to be a situation where you are going to be needing to make a choice and this is going to help you and the choices that you make and once again these are going to be inner choices as you're looking at this it's like when you do shadow work and you're like, I acknowledge this part of myself and I accept this part of myself, but I'm going to see this as a counselor more than, you know, the, what is going to direct me. So you're going to listen to it um, and then you're going to make a choice. So if shadow perhaps in the, in representing something that is a fear that you have, if shadow is telling you that, you know, it's it's like I, I I'm I don't like this and it's it's terrible and I think you should blah blah blah. You're going to look at it from a guardianship standpoint and go, I hear you and I acknowledge you and I embrace you. I am going to make this choice. So, like let's say you're something you know that this is something that's going to help you and yet shadow is telling you I'm scared of this. You're going to look at this and you're going to take that as counsel and you're going to say. Okay, I can see why, but having looked at all of this and seeing why I am saying this, why my shadow aspect is saying this to me, I'm going to make a choice based on that plus what I also know where I'm not um, from the part of myself that isn't afraid of this, where the part of myself that knows that this is actually for the best. I mean, you get the analogy of like taking medicine that is nasty. So it's like... Maybe Shadow is, you know, you've got the, the inner child part who's like, I don't want to eat something nasty. It scares me because it's yucky. And then your guardianship part is like, I understand. But just think of how good we're going to feel afterwards. And then we're going to make that choice. So that's sort of what we're dealing with. You know, we, we, we're observing. And this, is, this doesn't have a reversal, so it also refers to inner. And maybe with this inner camel that you're going in and having this inner endurance, maybe there's things that you've unearthed that are going to help you with your creativity, but right now are kind of a little bit eepish. And, <laughs> and so you're going to see this as, as a, an inner counselor that you're going to listen to, but then make a choice on your own. What isn't going to help you is we have Z or Z, depending on which side of the Canadian US border you're on <laughs> or where in the world you are. Generally it's Z, um, it's Z where I am, but I was just thinking Z because of people who use Z. So anyway, it's the it's teeth. No, it's not, it's an ax. Oh my gosh, I really must use these more because there's that kind of thing happening. So it's it's the ax, it's, it's something that, or the sword, it's something that cuts. Um, you basically, you may be tempted when you see this wriggly thing um, to just like basically cut it off. It's like, okay, it's like, you know, you have to, ultimately you have to embrace the shadow. Odin accepts Loki. Um, Odin doesn't, well, okay, he does eventually kick, Odi, kick Loki out at one point, but that's because of things. But but generally, you know, your, your shadow, you want to make sure that, because it's you and you want to not cut it off. So you're going to see this. Cutting off is not going to help you. You're not going to get that creative, the, the creativity that you get, the creative magic that you get from this, you're not going to get from cutting it off. You're going to get it from accepting it, listening to it, and then making a choice uh, based on you, <laughs> like your integrated whole, rather than your fears or rather than your fears of this. So you may be tempted to cut this off and that's not going to help you. This is there. It is part of you. Listen to it as a counselor and make your choice based on what you know. And what this is going to bring you to is J, which is the arm. Um, this is the kind of inner work that you're going to do. And this is, you know, this is creative as well. This is, you know, you're, 
you're working creatively within so that's definitely going to be a part of it it's it's going to be about integrating this because this is where your magic lies um you you have magic anyway you have creative magic already but there's a lot that's in this shadow bit that if you integrate it you're going to have that more so then you'll be drawing that forth when you create um in a more integrated way than you did before so that wolf and rosehip guardianship card people is your reading for um the pickle wolf and activating your creativity and all that good creative stuff i wish you all the best with this and i wish you a lovely day or evening take care till next time bye